I think this year's uh, shopping season is going to be very interesting because we have a couple competing forces. Prices are higher than they were pre-pandemic, but households also have an excess of savings. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how these um, competing forces are acting on consumers. Black Friday as we know it came to be in the 1980s. It's a good way for companies to get consumers excited about buying goods at their stores and it's the kickoff of the holiday shopping season. I don't think that Black Friday and Cyber Monday spending is going to make or break the economy. But it's a good indicator of the consumer behavior and the consumer sentiment that might uh, contribute to economic uh, outcomes later on. 2008 was during the longest and deepest recession since the Great Depression. So you can imagine that in the middle of that recession, consumers were not feeling great. But they still shopped. They still bought things on Black Friday. But what we saw is that consumers were purchasing items that were heavily discounted. They were seeking out these deals and they weren't deviating too much from their list. So that was a really good signal that our consumers weren't feeling great about the economy. If our consumers are behaving in a confident manner during the holidays, they're probably gonna carry over that confidence into the new year and maybe they'll be purchasing goods like cars or vacations, but if they're holding on to their wallets super tight over the holiday season, they're probably not gonna loosen that grip in a few months either. If you're interested in the way the world works, whether it's consumer behavior during the holiday shopping season, what caused inflation, uh, what causes recessions, what the government can do about it, then economics is for you.